we make makeup brushes. I've tested so many makeup brushes over the past year. Our name is Empresaria Cosmetics, which in Spanish means like businesswoman. Originally, we started off with plastic, but it just wasn't working. When I did more research into how much wood ends up in landfills, I was like, we could definitely do this. We wanted to really hit the three of better functioning, prettier to look at, and good for the environment. We can take something like a broom handle and turn it into a beautiful brush. You know, otherwise that would have been in the garbage. You feel good when you're making this purchase. It was a way that I could take waste and recycle it so that it can become more profitable. Sometimes people might tell me, you know, this is a little too expensive because they're not used to handmade beauty products. Doing everything by hand, just me and my dad. I've tested so many makeup brushes over the past year and a lot of them are very thin as far as the bristle placement. They're kind of lacking as far as density and fluffiness unless you get into that really, really high priced range. One of the biggest things that I wanted to get rid of was that big metal ferrule, like the metal piece that holds it on. Not only do I think it's ugly, sure everybody who's used makeup brushes for a prolonged time period has had it where that part falls off and now you just have a brush head without the stick. And I want it to be completely ferrule-less for a very minimal and like chic look, but also this kind of prevents just that. We just completely avoided that and made ours, you know, just straight attached to the actual handle. When I started my business, I was in school. I would always get up early for class to do my hair and makeup. I had to sit down and talk to myself and I'm like, those are like an hour or two that you could be dedicating to something, work, uh, family, and the business was really all I could do because I also had to pay for my tuition. Sometimes I would go to sleepovers with friends and at six in the morning I was getting up because I had to go work on stuff. Once I was done with class, I always met up with my business partner at the time and then we just worked often from like 4 p.m. to like sometimes one in the morning. There was times that we had like business competitions to raise money and we were working for like a week until like two or three in the morning. I got into therapy really young to learn how to deal with all the stress. My biggest tip uh, would be to see if you have a product idea to see if you can make it yourself especially in the beauty space, a focus first on building a community and building a story, telling people why you're doing what you're doing. And then you'll have this group of supporters that can have enough faith in you and believe in what you're doing to purchase from you. I am seen. Are you?